my scrappy friends. I have a fun traveler's notebook spread for you today. <clears throat> I am going to be using a whole bunch of washi. Um, I have seen a couple of my friends on YouTube. So um, I think I seen Christina do something similar to this and maybe even Christy. <clears throat> and um, they were I know last week uh, there was a stash type of layout where a whole bunch of people had to use washi and um, some of them had used theirs <clears throat> in strips on their layouts and stuff and I think some of them even put them in their traveler's notebook so I thought it would be fun to play around with some of my washi. I bought this washi a couple of months ago and I haven't really played around with it. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure why I bought it, except for that it's super cute, right? Well, I guess that's a good reason to buy it, right? Except for I know that I do not really play around with washi tape. So I really don't know why I bought it, except for it's really cute and I love the colors. So I'm going to just layer all these around. I don't really know if there's a rhyme or reason except for I'm trying not to have two of the same kind of washi tape together. So I am going to layer some from the top to the bottom. Some of them go all the way across. Some just go on one page. So you're just seeing me take all different washies. And I actually end up going back into my stash and pulling out this black and white one from Pink Fresh Studio. This was when they were doing their embellishment kits. And they would almost always add washi to their kit, which was kind of fun. It kind of helped me get a little selection of washi because seriously, I think I have like maybe 20. <laughs> <laughs> or something ridiculous. I do not have that many. Oh, well, maybe I have a little bit more than 20 because I think the pack that I just got was a 10 pack. So, uh, but that one I got at Michael's is just the Recollections brand. So that's what most of these are. Um, there is a Simple Stories one, that, that one teal one I think I just put on, or Aqua. And so I'm going to also build some layers around my photo. And this is just my dog being silly like she always is. She likes to steal stuff. This is a thing that she does quite often. And she's learned it from a pretty young age. I'm sure most dogs do learn this kind of stuff. But she's learned that if she steals something, she gets attention. And she learned from a little age that if she growled, she got even more attention. <laughs> so she has learned to guard her stuff. And she, she went into our kitchen and got this roll off of the counter. I think I was about to make a sandwich for one of my kids. And she took the roll right off of the counter. Because she likes to do that. Well, now we have a gate up so she can't get into the kitchen and that bugs her to pieces sometimes it drives her nuts but she will climb right up on the counter she's really bad about it and we are really bad about <laughs> training her not to do it I guess <laughs> some people some people are really good at dog training and some people just aren't and we are probably one of those people we do train her a little she has been trained a little but she just manners wise right but I will say that almost every time she steals something really major, I will take a picture at her and she stops and she stopped and she'll just sit there and let you take a picture of her. It's hilarious. I think she knows that she's, she gets attention and that it's, I don't know, I guess it's a parent thing, right? That even though your kid does something wrong, you still like, oh, let me take a cute picture of you when you did something really horrible, like steal food. <laughs> <laughs> but how could I not? She just looks so cute. So I'm going to put this in the traveler's notebook. Um, I really love that doggy washi tape that says love on it. It has like a French bulldog or something like that, maybe some kind of smaller dog face. And I was trying to think about which side I wanted to put this on because they did do some of the layers and I want you to be able to see them and I decided to stick it on where I have it now and then I am going to up 
that one I couldn't fit back in there. I was kind of irritated that they couldn't make it so that it would stick on the roll. <laughs> right? Why do they do that? They make it, they make this really fun glitter tape and then it doesn't even stay rolled up. Anyway, that's right. It, I guess it doesn't really matter. But um, I have that leftover tag from some stuff. I'm just really pulling stuff from my desk. I really wanted this to be simple and quick. And it was really quick. I mean, sometimes I can put together these spreads pretty quick. Sometimes it takes me about a half an hour or so. But this one was super quick. I think it took me like 20 minutes altogether. And most of it was just, as you can see, me rolling, like unrolling the washi tape and putting it up. So I was just trying to find a couple of other little small things and I had this uh, bowl with some of the wild and free, right, collection from Coco Vanilla and there's a few aspects. There's like this bow that's really cute and a, that flower die cut that's a circle that says cherish these moments because even though... Maybe, hopefully, one day she won't do this. I'll still look back and remember the days that she used to steal stuff. <laughs> so hopefully, one day she won't steal as much. I don't know. She's still pretty bad about it Um, if you're not watching her. But there's a lot of dogs that are like that, right? She's just so cute. So this was the perfect little spread to put in there and get documented. It doesn't necessarily need a full layout, though I probably could have did a full layout about it. But that's one of the things that I like about the Traveler's Notebooks is that you can easily just put together a small little spread that maybe you don't need a big, a big layout for. And it's just nice and fun. And I don't know, I've just been really enjoying the size and the different fun ways that you can use it. So I'm just going to staple this thing that says happiness and then that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a great Scrappy week. Bye!